You're listening to the Daily Sales Tips Podcast, and I'm your host, Scott Ingram. Today, I'm going to share a bit of a secret track with you. On Saturday, Evan Kelsey and I got up early to start our round two interview together for a future Sales Success Stories episode at 5.30 a.m. before our family obligations started to kick in. While the actual interview will end up being about 80 to 85 minutes, we ended up talking for about another 90 minutes beyond that, and fortunately, I left the recording running and captured this gold nugget, among others. Just for context, Evan was the star of episode 56 of Sales Success Stories after he closed the largest deal in Seismic's history, a deal that put him over 800% of his annual quota. He was subsequently asked to move into a leadership role, which he did, but after a few months, decided that he loved the hunt too much and became an intentional individual contributor. It was at this point in our conversation post-interview that I asked him, from his perspective, having been a sales leader, what he believed to be the difference between the top performers and everybody else. This is what he had to say about that. It's growth. I mean, it's, it's the growth mindset. Like I'm, I'm pretty convinced that it's the growth mindset because, you know, I would put myself, I'd probably grade myself as a, as a, as a B plus, you know, in my twenties as a seller. And, and then like, I probably moved a little bit up to into the A minus category and then A, A category, like I'm in the A category. I'm, I still don't consider myself like any A plus, maybe even A minus right now, but like, you know, it's the, the top performers or the, the guys that, you know, the, the guys that will be a top performer on that team, it's the like, I, I just really want to get better every day. And I'm thirsty for knowledge about this business, about this industry, about selling as a, as a craft. And that's going to be the, the biggest difference maker because year to year, like somebody might get lucky with a couple of accounts, but, but like over, over a five year period, like that was the biggest difference it comes back to growth, growth mindset. And it's like, it's just, it's, you know, it's trite. It's like, uh, it's, it's embarrassing to like, I don't have any other insight on this, but, but in reality, it's just growth mindset and grit, like those two things, that's what you, that's what you're looking for. And, you know, if you can figure out how to formulate all of your interview questions and your interview process to, to determine those two things, then you're going to have a, you're going to have a really successful organization. Certainly something to think about. The fact that you're here listening to this podcast tells me that you likely already have that growth mindset. Do you also have grit? Are you working hard and working through the day-to-day challenges that sales brings us to outperform? This also led to a conversation about why guys like Evan and other sales professionals who are already at the top, who have this growth mindset, 